Okay, we'd like to do a little slideshow here, which is the uh, life of Elaine Nash Torgerson. And uh, it's uh, February of 2016. I'm Jerry Reed. And Elaine is sitting here by my side. And so we're going to go through these pictures. They're kind of a chronological order. And have uh, Elaine tell us about them a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and start. And uh, first picture is with uh, Elaine's mother, uh, Nettie Powell, and her dad, Jack Nashen. Nash. I'm sorry. Uh, Would you like to tell us about? You can remember about Nettie and and Jack, Elaine. Well, I don't remember too much. I just appreciate Jerry doing this, my brother, and uh, it's exciting to see pictures of my mom and dad that I have never seen, and this was before I was born, so this was on their honeymoon, so they're so priceless, and this is my mom and dad. We didn't have too pic many pictures of mom and dad together. That it must have been up somewhere in Park City. So, just want to clarify that uh, Nettie went by Nettie within the family and friends, but it, her name was actually Margaret. She was named after her mother, if I understand right. And Nettie was her middle name that she went by. Uh, Powell was her uh, maiden name, and when she married Jack. Nash or John, and he was originally John, but he always went by Nash, or by Nash, by Jack, and uh, they were married back in June of 1931. Uh, they had two children, uh, Elaine Nash being the older and the younger, uh, John Merle Nash. And here's a picture of Elaine when she was young with her father. Uh, August, uh, she was born in August 1932, and this is when you were probably, what, a few months old, something probably like that? six months. Six months, something like mm -hmm. that. Okay, and this wow. is one of the better pictures, close-up pictures, only pictures we have of, of uh, Jack or John, and uh, that shows his, he was born in 1890, and passed away in May of 1942. 45. 45, I'm sorry. That's why this is a practice one. We'll go back yeah. next time we'll get everything right. Seven. And that's you, of course, when you were very long, young. Any remembers of that? Probably not. Uh, probably not. I know Mom always made sure we were warm. <laughs> yeah. And there's the first topless picture of you. Uh <laughs> Anyway, you I were. I still look like that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that was springtime, and so you wanted to get out and enjoy the nice weather. And then this must have been winter time because they got you all uh, wrapped up good. And that's with you and mom. And that looks like it's springtime, maybe Easter or something that Those you're were dressed at the up. Those temple grounds. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it does yeah. look like Salt Lake City temple grounds, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And that's basically the same picture, different angle with their uh, with mom's pretty dress on. And then you said this was in Ogden? Yes, uh huh. This was my sixth year. I started school in Ogden. So I think this is when I was six or seven uh, in Ogden. And that was my birthday cake. <laughs> And I started school in Ogden. So you were born in Salt Lake, but then moved to Ogden? Yeah. Dad, when you were younger? My dad worked for the Young Electric Sign Company, and so we moved around a lot. So I started school in Ogden. I don't know how old I was there. I must have been what? It looks like a special occasion. You got your fancy outfit on. And then you had... Yeah. Yeah. They used to bring those ponies around, and everybody, kids wanted to get their picture taken on the pony. I remember doing that. It wasn't, it was a lot later, but yeah. I remember that was real popular. The kids yeah, liked to I do that. Yeah, I love that little 
horse. Yeah, wasn't that nice? And again, you all dressed up. Must have been a special occasion or just a special time to get your picture taken. I think it was just, I have, I don't, I think it was just to get my picture taken. I don't uh -huh. know. And, and another maybe a couple <laughs> year or two difference and you with your baby doll. And then this is a... Uh, See, now there's me and there's Roy. And that picture was the two of us together, but... Oh, I, I just can't believe it. Why don't you I tell us a little it. bit about Roy and how he's related? What's the tie-in with Roy and why he became so close to you when you were young? Okay, when uh, Roy, when Roy was born, he was born to Beatrice, which was his mother, and Grandpa was his dad. And when... Roy's mom, when Roy was two years old, his mom passed away. And Aunt Melba didn't want him, and they didn't want to take care of him. So my grandma, pal, took Roy and raised him. And this was just a little guy we called Grandpa down in Price. But this is where Mom... Uh, Mom and Grandma cooked for the sheep herders. And this was Roy and I. We had to go with them. And we could play together. We had a lot of fun, Roy and I. We'd get up on the stacks of stuff. And we, they had an old train. We used to go play in the train thing and a car. Now, did, did Jack and Nettie separate for a little while is that why she yeah, was down there did. and and they were yeah. apart yeah they separated and okay so we were living with my grandma now this is uh kind of the same mm -hmm. group of people of similar uh age but i see there's uh nettie's sister fern and her husband jerry are in the back on the left side there and then grandma powell on mom. the right and mom and these they say that they had that that fern and jerry had twins were those uh -huh. the twins in yeah, the back in the middle the, there these are the two twins and then they had i think they had like seven or eight kids that was uh, the rest of their family then yeah, and so the that's bottom there the rest of the family okay yeah. good and that you must have been going to church or something now. I was excited because that was the first coat and hat mom bought me. Oh, it's and nice. And I was so proud of it. <laughs> and and then kind of just as you were growing up, some of these other pictures. And then... And this is right after Merle was born. That's the fourplex we lived in. They had... Do you remember that? They had a fourplex, and we were the first ones. Was that in Ogden? No, this was in... Uh, okay, this seven. would have been back when Jack and Nettie got back together, and then well, Merle was born? Yeah, yeah. And this was a fourplex? Well, they, they had I? my dad go back with the young electric so He traveled around a little bit. Uh-huh. This is Merle when he was just... I don't know, maybe what, eight, nine months old. Uh -huh. And we lived in that uh, four, it was actually a four thing, uh -huh. apartment thing. And we just, it was really nice. We just loved it there. And Was that in Salt Lake or uh -huh. Salt Lake? It was in Salt Lake. It was on about 7th South between State and 2nd East. Okay. And there's, uh, and there's some of these earlier Merle. pictures when Merle's little and Jack. Uh -huh. uh, Merle was born uh, in 1943. So, and how old was he when Jack passed away? About two years old, I think, because I wasn't there. Well, this is a few, you know, well, he was a little bit older here. It looks like he's walking, so yeah. he's a year and a half or yeah. something like that with Jack. Yeah. And, uh, That's a cute picture. Them. And I just added here that, you know, Merle is kind of a different name. And uh, 
I kind of wondered about that when I was younger and I was doing some family searching. I realized that Merle uh, Nash was named after his uncle, Merlin Nash. And uh, now that would have been Jack's brother. Is mm -hmm. that uh, how it was? So Jack yeah. thought a lot of Merlin and that's where that name, of course, Jack, that was John. Jack's first name was John, so he was named after his dad and after his uncle. So that was kind of interesting. And then these are just more shots of you and Merle as that you guys... That was my junior high graduation. Now, Jack would have passed away by that yeah. time, is that right? Yeah, because Merle was... I, he... I wasn't even... You... Oh. Whoops, sorry there. No, that's okay. Um, but you can see that now yeah. this was after this was at the house. Yeah, it was wasn't it after house. Jack passed away that I mom think, then I got the house was, and yeah. you moved into the house down on. They'd only been in that house. house less than a year when Dad died. Oh, Dad! You, they got into the house mm -hmm. first, and then he was a year old, yeah. and then he passed away. I've I yeah. didn't know that. I thought maybe yeah she um, moved into the house after. I wasn't after even he, there. I was down with Grandma Pal and Price when oh. my dad passed away. Oh. And Hazes. You remember Hazes? Right. Uh -huh. Mom ran over and got Hazes, and when they come back, yeah. he was gone. Okay. Now, in this picture, you can see that uh, 2400 South in South Salt Lake was pretty rural. This is before they'd put in the sidewalks and the curb yeah. and gutter and widened the road. We had 10 trees around that house. Is that some of the trees in the neighborhood there? It sounds Look, like one, two, three, four, yeah. five, and then we had one, two, three, four, five. Uh huh. So that was probably was that Spute's? Uh, no, that's Br uh, um, Burton. Burton. Uh, Spare boom. Spare boom. That's yeah. Spare boom's mom. That and dad's was the mom house. and dad, grandpa's house, and then they built a newer home over on the corner yeah. and then the dairy was built back here in the back, so this yeah. was all before any of that was built oh, and there yeah. was nothing on the corner uh -uh. there of west it's temple and would be lot. west temple was the first street over here and then this is 2400 south, south. Yeah. or taylor avenue i don't know why they changed the name it was originally taylor avenue oh, and you go back into history and oh, it shows there was that. taylor avenue and then burton avenue was the next street over yeah. Yeah. And there was Haven Avenue. So, but they changed this street. I don't know, maybe it was easier was to find Oakland it. Avenue too, Oakland was, was the other way where I you. South. That's yeah. two streets south yeah. of there, yeah. I love that little bike. And uh, you had a nice full head of hair as you're oh, that know. age when you're curly. <laughs> was that all natural curly hair? Um, no, I think no. it was a perm. Mom uh -huh. had the most beautiful hair, but. Oh, yeah. Got all these curls. Uh, and there's uh, you know, the family. I know you like that. I think this was on a Sunday when we came home from church. Uh huh. I see you wearing that, that blouse in several pictures, so I think you really like that. Yeah. This is Norma, one of your yeah. best friends that yeah. you were growing up with. And she lived just up the street about yeah. a block and a half. About a block and a half. They yeah. lived kind of close to the Burton Ward. Yeah, the old ward was right yeah. there. And then uh, these are just a few more Pictures. shots of you oh, as you grew you up. Do you remember that one with Claudia? Well, I wasn't there, but I remember this picture because oh. that's Claudia in the front, who is uh, Marilyn's uh, second daughter. That's another story of that whole family and what happened. But uh, then next to her is, is Merle when he was... Uh, he got some ringworm, and so he had to wear that cap. That's what we were trying to think, ringworm. Because... Okay, so here we go in this next section. Uh, there's Dick, who is uh, Claude's oldest son in the back, Dick Reed, and then Marilyn was his younger sister. And, of course, Merle, we talked about, and Claudia was Marilyn's daughter. And then we've got Elaine and her good friend Norma and Nettie there in the, the back. But anyway, Merle had been in a building back in those days, and I thought it was an old theater that they had over there on State Street. I don't Might know if for been. some reason I can't that. Remember. 
but he got ringworm and so back in those days that's what they would do if they had ringworm they'd shave their head and then make them wear kind of a sock thing yeah. to to uh salt oh, to yeah. favor it and then this was apparently when you went to southern california yeah, you're about 16 or 17 uh -huh. oh, and I I, th they, I think they picked me up at the drugstore, and I was working at the drugstore when I was 16. So, mm. so I was about, yeah, I was about 16. Okay, well, from the time, it, it looks like there's quite a few pictures I from that, that time when you, you, the family went, and I think it was after they had just, you just bought a new car, yeah, the new did. Dodge, and so they went down there for a, a ride, and to visit with Dick because he had moved to Southern California mm -hmm. and he was in the military, I think, down there or something. There's pictures I have of him. Yeah. And then uh, you, then Claude and Nettie were kind of thinking maybe you and Dick would be a, a couple or something. They thought yeah. that you'd made a cute couple. so Dick They wanted me to marry him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you could do that because you're not no blood relations, yeah. you know. It's just through marriage. Yeah. So there's uh, the swimming beauty, and then this is when you were in high school, around that same time, uh, in front of the old house on oh, yeah. 2400 South. And there's Merle in the back having a little snack or something. <laughs> it looks like. And then you like to clown around and goof around, so. I threw these pictures in that showed, you know, it was about that same time in your life. You like to, to do a lot of things that direction. And then I got you all cleaned up, looking good here and very pretty and, and uh, hair all up and uh, same way here. And like I say, your nice long full hair there. And so this was kind of leading up to the time um, in the, 2400 South Street, and then it was about that time when uh, Nettie met uh, Claude Vernon Reed, and they got married in 1948, and uh, a couple years later, November of 1950, Jerry uh, was born, and then uh, a few years after that, uh, Don Roger Reed, the younger boy, was burned. It was born, yeah. and uh, so that's just pictures of them and how they come into this picture. So this is a picture with Claude and, and Nettie when they were still newlyweds or something like that, and uh, that's me. I was born, so this would have been a picture about 1950, um, and then Elaine and Merle, and what the, how old they were at that time. I would Oh, 1950 whoops, I went the wrong... was when I graduated. So I oh, was it? Mm -hmm. 1950 when I was born, so that was both at the same time. Yeah. So this was a kind of a couple of years after you'd been to California, right? Yeah. And so then, the, you, you didn't meet him then, but uh, Howard Torgerson was born back in 1932, and uh, these were his school pictures taken in... 1941, and then with his family, the picture of his grandma, his grandpa, and uh, great grandma Torgerson. Uh, as Howard grew up, as he was a teenager here. This was probably before you had met him. Yeah. And then you guys met in 1951, from what I can tell, and this is when you were dating, and, and, uh, getting around town. It looks like you're having fun there. Uh, then you decided to get married and you and Howard were married in uh, 1952. And uh, this is the best clip I could get. It That's doesn't okay. tell the whole yeah, story, fine. but yeah. Okay. yeah. And then, you know, a nice picture of you and Howard. I, I know a good I, picture. I like that. Yeah. And both really handsome people, you know, a nice, yeah. beautiful couple. And then this is a few years later, kind of shows the progress of, of your relationship and what happened after that was uh, one kid after another, after another, after another. So uh, Karen, your oldest, and then Kent, 
then Kathy, Carrie, and Corey was the baby, the youngest. And then these are just other pictures of the family over the years as you kind of grew up and they got older. And really cute, darling family. And then this was taken not too long um, before Howard passed away. Kent was on his mission. Oh, that's right. He was gone. So that was within you know a very short time. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, this those were probably out of order. The uh, this one should be, this one they should have been before the last one, right? Well, this looks like it was maybe Kathy's. It was Karen's. Karen's wedding. wedding, okay. Karen and Michael, yeah. And then Howard passed away in 1974. Uh, this is just the kids, Jerry and Don, myself, and my younger brother, used to love to go out to uh, your home in. Uh, on Benview Drive, and we like to play ball with uh, Kent and all the kids, Karen and Kathy. It was we all play Granger together. Then. Granger, exactly. But now it's West Valley. Yeah, and then we and get a little older, and the last one was before Corey was out and about, and here's Corey has <laughs> joined the crew, and Karen didn't make this picture, but it's kind of a cute picture of uh, and shows the age difference in. You know, our uh -huh. little group and, and how yeah, we grew up cute. together. So, oh. And then we got the four-generation picture with Elaine. I was pregnant with Kent. Kent was there hiding at that time. Um, we got Nettie, then oh, her grandma, Grandma Powell, and then you and then Karen. So we got the four generations there. And then um, this is the next Five generations. This is after Nettie had passed away. So this, you got that real good one of with mom on the five generations. I don't know. That's the only one I, like, I had. That last oh, one you yeah, didn't I have. I like that one with mom. Okay. Now this one's you know you but as can probably put the oldest, both. then Karen, then Hillary, then Allie, and Aspen. So you got five yeah. generations there. I've got a really good five-generation picture with mom that okay. I'd like to... Okay, can you give me that and I can add that so it'll show the different I ones. I got it over there, but And anyway, that was five or four generation? Five. Five, okay. You know what's weird? Five girls with mom. Uh-huh. Five girls, yeah. no boys, all girls. Yeah. Both generations. Yeah, as the oldest. Those were the, the firstborn from each... Each one is what you're referring, huh? Yeah, yeah. well, see, there was mom and uh, me, her mother, Karen, and, then, and, and then, then you, and then Karen, then uh, then Hillary, Hillary, and yeah. then yeah, Allie, and then Aspen. Yeah. So. But I got a real good one with mom and Esther that. Yeah, you can do that when you all start young you know you don't yeah. wait till you're too old then it's hard I'll to get give you a picture five of together so okay let's go on through here so this just kind of shows uh the families and elaine and howard had five kids uh in order of age from the oldest to the youngest karen kent kathy carrie and torgerson and then karen married michael hansen and they had two kids, Hillary and Sheldon. Then we've got Kent's family. Kent married Janie Torgerson. And they had the three kids, Tiffany, Cody, and Derek. And if you have any comments on these as they're coming up, this oh. is new since I changed it around and oh, you yeah. didn't see it before. So, yeah, that, you know, you're welcome to yeah. add any comments you want to here. And then Kathy married Steve Love, and they had five children, Josh, Jordan, Crystal, Callie, and Chase. And then Carrie married Kayleen, and they had five kids, Jason, Tyson, Holly, Brady, and Megan. Mm -hmm. And then Carrie passed away uh, August 19th of 2015. Uh, Corey's family, um, he married Becky, and they had uh, 
two kids from that he adopted. Is that right? Yeah. Christy and Josh were, and that's why they have different last names here. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Becky and Corey had the two boys, Colton and Jake. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep. Then we've got, this kind of just shows the uh, Elaine and her younger brother, uh, Merle. And then their younger brother, Jerry, me on the right. And the baby, Don, in the back on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, Merle married Diana Nash, uh, Diana Russell, who became Diana Russell Nash. Mm -hmm. uh, they had four kids, Stacy, Clinton, Devin, and Laura. Then Jerry, I married a Shelley Burton Reed, and we have two children, Jennifer Reed and Michelle Reed. Don married Susan Cornelson. They had five or three kids, I'm sorry, Heidi, Lindsay, and Adam. This is just the last get together we had with uh, Claudia. Uh, that's me on the right, and then Claudia, that would be my sister's daughter, and then her Karen friend. I love that. Yeah, that was a great time. Oh. And we'll never all get together like this again, so no, this is a nice really. picture. Yeah. You got Merle on the far left, Karen, you, and then that is uh, Andy, or uh, Willie, mm -hmm. is next to Dawn, and that's her daughter, Michelle. And then down at the end is Sue, and the last one there is Claudia's husband. Um, I'm, I'm getting a blank right now. And across the hall was, or across the table was, was Diane and her husband. Boy, since my Yeah, which one was Claudia stroke, next to you? There's Claudia. Yeah. That's her friend, her best friend that she grew up with. Okay. Then this is the, this is Claudia's older sister, Willie. And then this is her younger sister, Diane. Oh. And Diane married Bob. And then Claudia married Chuck. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. that's Chuck down there at is the end. Is he still alive, I guess? Yeah, or yeah, no. he is. And he lives in uh, Glendora, California. Oh, okay. Oh, and there I tried to kind of explain the three sisters we had Willie over number one, and then, so she's the oldest, and then Claudia, and then Diane. Oh, yeah. And then there's you with your five kids. When you got your big award, you want to say a little bit about your super fan award that you got? Well, it was pretty interesting because one day in the hall, my basketball coach caught me and he said can you write me a letter about your sports life and I said yeah I'd be glad to so I wrote a letter and um, about two or three days later my coach called me and said that I had won the Utah High School Association super fan because I guess I had been to a lot of games and I'd been so long at my high school and been to all the games, I guess I won. I thought it was just from the school, but he said no, it was for the whole state of Utah. I think it was both. You won for the school and, and for yeah, all of the high school yeah, in the state. In the state. That yeah, was great. So that was a nice that was award. And we had a big. Uh, ceremony for you at the school and at the University of Utah uh -huh. and I remember the family went to that and that was a nice event. Yeah that was good. And then uh, this is just one of the last pictures that I had on file of you and your your five kids and I got into that one mm -hmm. and then uh, this is uh, Carrie when he passed away. Mm -hmm. um, I think at the yeah, you know, you gave me the date, but I didn't get it on here for some reason. When he I'll have died, to add that. Yeah, August the nineteenth. I've, oh. I've got that. Oh, I've got yeah. it somewhere else. You know, that other picture oh, I had. Okay. Yeah, he showed him, but yeah. apparently I had it yeah, in two places. Yeah. And that's yeah. the last slide that I've got. So oh, okay. I'll, I can update this 
again later, but this is kind of a good start, yeah. uh, you know, going over. Gave me some ideas okay. with some of the other pictures that we can add here. And we all hope that you live for a long time <laughs> and uh, that this doesn't, you know, I hope you cause do. any You're problems. The one I'm worried about. Well, well, you never know about that, but well, uh, you can you remember, just... we can remember you and me. Take by listening to this and, yeah. and remembering the great times we've had over the years yeah. as a family. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all okay. we have for now. Well, Talk you. to you. Uh, See y'all later. Appreciate it. Uh huh. Yeah. Bye bye.